Now let's look at the second part of the workflow. It starts with the user asking a question about the book. Let's say the book is Lord of the Rings, right? So let's say the question is, what is the name of uh, Frodo's sword, right? So now what we do is we also convert this question that prompt into an embedding as well. Okay. Now the next thing is we have a retriever component right here that takes this embedding, which we know is the mathematical representation of the prompt and then asks the vector store, hey, give me the top five relevant chunks for this particular question. Okay. And the vector store, um, vector stores basically have a very low latency, meaning they're very fast because they're working with numbers, right? So this vector store with its extremely low latency and high speed gives back the top five chunks with the highest relevant scores. All right. So at this point, we have two things. We have the user's question right here in English as well as the passages from the book in the form of smaller chunks that answers the user's question, chunks that are relevant to the user's question. All right. So now we have five, the top five chunks, right? Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to send both the question in plain text as well as the chunk in plain text to the LLM, right? So now the LLM has all the relevant passages and also the user's question. So the LLM is now able to sort of reason and give a very informed answer. And finally, the LLM is going to respond back to the user right here. I hope you now have a full picture of rags and how they work. Now, rags are pretty great when it comes to, you know, giving our private data to the LLM, basically giving it this additional data and we can sort of chat with our data, right? So that is one use case. We can also, there is another way of looking at rags. Okay, we can also think of rags as giving long term memory to LLMs, right? So I'll give you a very simple example. So I'll give you one final example to better understand this. Let's say there is a customer support bot. Okay, so all the past conversations with a specific user can be stored in a vector database so that in the future, if there is a specific question from history, rags can go and retrieve that particular relevant chunk and give more accurate answers. So in the next few sections, we are going to be looking at how to code all of this with the same example that we saw right now. And you'll see it is actually much more simpler than it looks. So I'll see you in the next section.